Hi guys. Um, so this essay or this uh, explanation is talking you guys through your third essay. Um, and in this one, we are shifting gears. We're doing a literary analysis essay around the um, the short story in a grove. Um, and you're going to apply sort of the frameworks that you've learned around literary analysis to in a grove. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to choose either a character, a theme, or an approach to analyze the story through. So it's up to you whichever one you want to do. Um, just remember that it does need to be a very focused analysis, so you're going to keep it as narrow as possible. Um, so if you choose to do a character, you choose one character, and you're discussing the behaviors and motivations behind that character. So you're going to think about things like, um, what are the characteristics of them? Are they honest? Are they um, straightforward? Are they um, a liar? Are they deceitful? Are they a protagonist? Are they antagonist? Are they developed? Are they flat? Um, how do you know these specific elements about that character? So what in the text shows you that that character is honest or a liar or whatever it might be? Do any of those characteristics conflict with one another? Are they trustworthy? Do you think they're telling the truth? Why? What in the text shows you that they're truthful or not truthful? Um, what motivation do they have? What do they stand to gain or lose? And then what's the background of that character? Um, are they traditionalist? Are they um, you know, religious? Are they um, uh, poor? Are they wealthy? There's so many different elements that can make up a characterization. Um, if you're looking at the theme, you're looking at essentially the overall point or message in the text. So the theme could be something like um, the importance of truth, or it could be the importance of family or tradition. Um, so you're thinking about what is the reader supposed to be getting from the story? What evidence do you have? What from the text shows you that this theme is valid? If you do an approach, you're going to do one of the many approaches that we read, that we explained in the lecture. We could do a critical approach. You could do a, a new criticism. You could do um, a gender theory approach. You could do a historical approach or a cultural approach. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that you can read a story. So if I read a story from a gender theory approach or from a feminist approach, it's very different than if I read it from a historical approach. Um, so I'm looking at how does that story illustrate the points within that approach. Um, so you need to make sure that you have all of the parts of an argument. So you have an introduction with a thesis statement um, that about the, the text and the um, character theme or approach that you are going to be discussing. You'll have a body with main ideas and evidence in the form of quotes from the story. So that's how your evidence, that's how you show your evidence in a literary analysis argument. You need to pull specific quotes from the story as your evidence. And then, um, of course, you'll want to do your counter arguments as well. Some may not believe that the character is, uh, you know, being truthful. However, this is why they are. Um, so your essay is going to be three to four pages in length, and it's due on Sunday, November 24th by 11.59 p.m. MLA formatting is required. Everything's checked, of course, through plagiarism, and then bottom to the third page as usual, um, at minimum. So all you have to submit for this one is your final draft with the bibliography, um, which is essentially is a short story. You're welcome to pull in one or two sources, if you like, um, from the internet. Just make sure you do cite them and that they are credible sources. So I'm going to give you guys a few examples. If you wanted to look, for example, at a character analysis, um, your job is to show your audience what that character is or who that character is. So like I said above, look at things like motivation and behavior patterns. Look at what they have to, to gain or to lose. And then use literary terminology like developed, round, flat, static, primary, archetype, whatever it might be. Um, what you don't want to do is try and cover every single character. I want you to deep dive into one specific character. 
Um, I also don't want you to simply tell what happened in a story. So you don't want to summarize, you want to analyze. So if I'm doing a character analysis, for example, in, um, uh, say, Harry Potter, I might do a character analysis of Dumbledore. My, three, my thesis might be that Dumbledore is the archetype of the, um, the kind old, the wise old man. He's the archetype that we've seen in, in many different stories of the wise old man. Um, and then my first main idea might be that he physically fits the archetype of the wise old man. And I would go into describing, you know, the beard and the, the, the whatever, the twinkle in his eye, however J.K. Rowling describes him, right? There, these are characteristics of the wise old man. He's benevolent, he's kind, he's intelligent, and he's sharp. Um, I would then, for my second point, go into explaining what the function of the archetype of the wise old man in a story is to provide guidance to the hero. And then I would pull specific quotes that show how he provides guidance to Harry Potter. And then my third point might be that the wise old man is a, um, is a, say, outside the, outside the realm of, of normal understanding. Um, and I would show how he has these mysterious qualities that seem beyond explanation. And that adds to the sort of um, otherworldliness or supernatural abilities of this wise old man character, this belief beyond the human realm of intelligence. Um, so for example, that might be how I analyze a character. So you might apply a similar framework to one of the characters within this story. Um, if you do a theme, you could do something, you could do truth versus perception. That could be the theme of the story is why truth never wins out over perception. Um, you could do something like honor or virtue or the importance of honor and virtue um, and then show why different characters do or do not um, showcase that theme. You could do um, the idea of what is love. What is love in this story? We have several different explanations of what love is pull specific quotes from different different parts of the story that show what love is or is not and the importance of love within this culture or story. Um, you could do this you could do a theme about tradition or rebellion um, or gender norms. There's so many different themes you could look at here. Um, if you did a, a f approach to the story, you could do a feminist reading of a specific character and his or her role in the story. Um, you could do a cultural reading. So why is the Japanese culture, say, important within this story? Um, how do you see those specific elements of the samurai or whatever it might be within the story? You could do a psychological reading. Is a character, say, for example, schizophrenic? You can argue that a specific character does show schizophrenia um, aspects. Um, you could do a new critical reading about a specific symbol within the story, say the tree. Um, could be a very important symbol or the sword could be a very important symbol and it could have multiple meanings within the story. Whichever one you do, um, think about what you want to talk about within the story. That's how you make sure that you have plenty to say. You have three pages worth of, of evidence and text to talk about. Um, again, you're not limited to any of these ideas. Please find something that is of interest to you. Um, and you are, you absolutely don't have to, to, um, Verify this with me ahead of time, but if you do have any questions, you're more than welcome to reach out. Again, have all of the required parts of an argument, as usual, um, so make sure you have a good intro with the thesis, um, at least three reasons with evidence, and then one to three opposing ideas with refutation. So again, you need to make sure that you submit a clean, well-organized um, argument in your final draft, and make sure that you include a bibliography with this story on there well, as well in any sources that you pull from. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Use all of the lectures and everything from this unit to help you craft your literary analysis essay. Um, and uh, best of luck.